Welcome back to the channel, Hobby One Kenobi here. I am continuing work on the Kinetic GR1 Harrier. In this video, I will show you how I use Artist Oil Paints to apply a wash and use the same oil paints to dry brush details on the ejection seat. Then finally, I will show you a neat trick for making those tricky ejection handles. You know, the ones with the small yellow and black stripes. Yeah, those. Oh, and please take a quick moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get started. I love these Windsor and Newton paints. They are a little pricey initially, but these have lasted at least a decade and I still have a lot more paint available. I will use black and white to mix a grayish color, which will serve as the highlight for any small details on the seat. The technique to apply the gray highlight is known as dry brushing. Basically, you load up the brush with the lighter color, then wipe away about 90 to 99% of the paint. As you move the brush against the surface, the pronounced areas hold on to the paint. It is better to have too little paint rather than have too much paint and try to get it done quickly. Too much paint will simply ruin the effect. I am using oil paints for this effect mainly because of their slow drying time. These artist oils are also very easy to remove if a mistake is made. Once I have finished dry brushing the base color, I will start to paint other areas of the seat, including the seat cushions, seat belt, and belt buckles. Next, I will apply a wash to the cockpit again using the same artist oils. Remember, these are not enamel model paints, sometimes known as oil-based, but rather artist oils. Do not get the two confused. This time, I will put a bit of the pigment in a container and pour in quite a bit of the terpenoid. Terpenoid, also known as odorless thinner, and I think mineral spirits, is used to thin the pigment and will make a liquid sludge that will be applied to all surfaces. Once the wash dries, I will remove the excess material off of the flat surfaces. The excess is removed with Q-tips and a soft brush. The brush is used to move material around in inside crevices, while the Q-tip lifts excess material off the parts. It is vital that the removal process begins only after the wash has fully dried.
Okay, now on to making those pesky but always present ejection seat handles. Here's how I do it. I start with black wire. I have a spool of it that I've had for decades. I will then take care to create some very thin strips of Tamiya tape. Use a new blade and cut several until you find just the right width. Wrap the tape around the wire at an angle. Then I suggest spraying with primer. Tamiya's gray surface primer works perfectly for this task. The primer serves two purposes. It creates a strong bond for the paint and adds a brighter surface for the yellow to lay on. Finally, using a spray can or airbrush, apply a yellow and let dry. Now we come to the fun part, removing the strips of tape. If you apply the primer and paint in thin layers, you will end up with great looking ejection handles. You can bend the wire in any loop formation you might find on aircraft. Cut the piece with clippers and super glue. This may be a few more steps than you'd like, but the results are far better than hand brushing and gives your seats a more realistic look. I would recommend making a bunch this way so you have them handy for your next aircraft kit. Well, that does it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.